All right, people, here's the deck profile for the Predator plants. And yes, you see why there's quotes in the freaking title for the deck profile of this video? Because there's three fucking monsters. Three Predator mo predator plants. That's it. No spells, no traps, three monsters. So to really call it a Predator plant deck, not really. It's kind of difficult to make a deck with only three fucking monsters. So you guys voted on it. It's probably the biggest vote in Daily Duel's poll history. Like, it was it was no dispute. It was like, I think it was like 22% of the total votes. Like, that's that's amazing. So, uh, I made it. It was, uh, it really was. It was kind of weak in my opinion, but I'll give you the deck profile nonetheless. So, to the Predator Plant side, we run three, Plant, Fly, Hell. It's the best one. It really is. And target a phase up monster, it becomes a one, and then uh, if I attack over it, I pretty much kill it. If I battle, I take a level two or lower or something like that. And then I gain the level, which means that if I battle with a monster that's lower, levels on me, I believe. Once you can target one monster your opponent controls, place one predator counter. Uh, level two or higher monster the predator counters become level one. The start of the damage step, this card battles a monster whose level less than uh, or equal to this card, destroy it. So pretty much I summon it, put it, uh, counter, you be, you drop down level one, I attack over you, and then I kill you because I'm level two, you're level one, and then I gain. It doesn't really work for, uh, of course, monsters with ranks, but it's good nonetheless, so that's the best one. And we run three of the skip Dracera. It used to be two Dracera and two of this, the Moray, but uh, Dracera is pretty decent if you have two of them. So if I have two of them, then I can pretty much attack everything with uh, Star Man. Because I can summon a uh, Dracera, summon a Dark, summon, go into Star Venom. Then I can use a Dracera, put a, a counter on everybody, and then attack over everyone. So that's the reason why you run it. Uh, send this card from the hand of then put, uh, then target one face-up monster. This turn, it can attack all monsters your opponent controls and predator counts once each. And this card leads to field. You can place a predator counter on all special monsters that are level 2 or higher. And it may become 1. So that's pretty much why you run 3. That way, if you have 2 of them, you summon, summon a Dark, fuse... Put a put a predator plant counter on number one. Pitch another Dracera. I can attack all monsters with predator counters, which is all your special monsters. Tack 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 tack. So let me run one of this guy. He's kind of shitty, and the only reason why he's in here is because it's predator plants. But I probably wouldn't run him in general. Like he's, he doesn't really do anything. Gains two hundred attack for each predator counter field. Meh. This card is destroyed by uh, by battle and destroyed. I can equip it. Target one of the equipped monsters. Uh, destroy it and gain life. But it's kind of slow. It's just you know. Uh, it really is. Once per turn, you're going to target one of the equipped monsters. Once, wait. You're going to equip the... Oh, so if I destroy the monster by battle, this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle, which I'd certainly not be doing unless I have a ton of counters, which you really don't. And I can equip it, and then I can pop the equipped monster to gain life points equal to its original attack. Like, who cares? Who fucking cares? Especially since the attack deck has 16,000 fucking life points in attack. Like, no, no. So, this, this one's the shitty one. Like, you're the best, you're the second best, you're shitty. All right. So that's it. That's all. That's all the predator plants. That's it. City, right? So uh, I had to throw another thing. So while it is a predator plant, we also like to do Star Venom, which is two non-token dark monsters. So what's the deck that can bust out some, you know, some dark play, some dark monsters fairly easy? Oh right, Evil Swarm. So uh, we run three Caster, three Krakion, and two Mandragora. I'd probably run three Mandragora if it was a single deck, but it's tagged so my partner's monster, so that's why it's only at uh, two. So I can just summon this, summon this, and then fuse it up. Or I can go into Ophion. I mean, we have Ophion right here. I don't think I went into him, but I could. So uh, that's not terrible. We probably only run three of these, but you know, it's good to have Krakion nonetheless and make sure that uh, Evil Swarm count is enough for uh, Caster to get to work. Uh, Kai Takage, of course, summon, special summon. It's a dark. There you go. Uh, one King of the Swamp because I want to get Polly and I tried to number generate it. One uh, Feeding Sage because I wanted to number generate it. Uh, Lord of Darkness, everybody here is a dark except for King of the Swamp. So lots of darks. Zagaki, Rota for Caster, a triple Insta Fusion. And not only do we have Norden, of course, like, yes, <laughs> fucking Norden, but we also have Dark Fire. It's another level four dark, so we can once again go into uh, Star Venom with him. So that's also not bad. Uh, we run three fusion substitutes instead of poly because Star Venom has to be the monster that's been in the field. So there's really no point in running poly because I can't, the monster that's been in the field, so I might as well run fusion substitute. And then at least if the fusion monster uh, is gone, I could put it back to my deck and then uh, draw a card. So that's a little bit better. Uh, one fusion recovery targeted poly, fusion recovery, and the monster used for it added back to my hand. I don't think I ever got to play this, but I mean, it's decent nonetheless to get your resources back. Triple to Twister Path that back row, uh, bottomless, the Sun Brigade, and the Time Space Draft Hall because we are running Rathlasia because we can do rank four plays, and this deck kind of slow next back row. So, 
Uh, two castles. I could probably. I don't know why I played two castles. I should probably play like a master key beetle. Like I'm, I'm fucking. We have darks in here. We're running fucking master key beetle in here, boy. Master key beetle. Ophion, dweller, dark rebellion, Rathlesia, diamond dire, Ophi, Topia, Topia, Ophi. and then my fusion monsters. Three star venom. Because star venom is pretty much the gist of the deck. Like better to plants. There's three monsters in star venom. So work with that. Like, all right, all right. So I tried. Uh, it was it was kind of bad. It's slow. It's kind of shoddy. It wasn't the greatest of tag decks. Like, I might have been able to do something with a single deck, but tag? Fucking ugh. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Uh, if you haven't seen already, deck replacing it, which is Destiny Heroes. Uh, the video's already gone up, so make sure you watch that as well. I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll be doing deck profile for uh, Crystal Beast Pendulum and playing Chemical Beast. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.